Alrighty guys, so my first in-hand find of Georgia is this South Carolina slimy salamander. Um, and it's very easy to tell why it's called that. The slimy salamander has left this very sticky residue on my hand that's just leaving stuff to stick to it. Um, but just flipped it right under this log right here. And I will let him go back in there, just snapped a couple pictures. And there he goes. Alrighty guys, it's probably been about a week since you last saw me with that salamander. I've seen a lot of common herps since then, um, but not a ton. I haven't really been out able to herp, which is probably how it will be most of the time while I'm out here working working in Georgia. But we do have the southern toad right here, which I think is actually a lifer for me. I've been seeing a lot of anoles, obviously, a lot of squirrel tree frogs, um, things like that. I just haven't been able to film a lot. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get out and herp a few times. As far as snakes go, only been DORs. Um, but yeah, we're gonna let the southern toad go. Hopefully I'll uh, start to find more things here in Georgia over the next few weeks. Alrighty, so I'm doing a bit of road cruising with Nate and Dustin right here, um, who I'm actually working with while I'm out here in Georgia. And we just road cruise this very small, likely a neonate uh, copperhead right here. You can still see that yellow tail. Um, which is just super awesome. I've seen one of these ever, it was in South Carolina. We're actually barely in South Carolina right now as well. Um, this is my second live copperhead ever. Awesome to see one. Um, definitely gonna snap some pictures. Just that clean, clean brown diamond patterning. Awesome yellow tail. We'll get some pictures and then leave this guy alone here. Alrighty guys, we cruised this big dead corn snake right here, which is a big bummer. Uh, so we saw that and stopped for it. As we're looking at this guy, I see this copperhead starting to cross the road right over here. It's gonna get away. I don't have a snake stick with me, unfortunately. Um, so we'll kind of just follow it for a bit. But crazy that we stopped for one DOR and then there's a snake getting ready to cross there. Um, I'm gonna try to snap a quick picture of this guy um, and we'll uh, let it go on its way. Right, we got another snake up here. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a rat snake. Let's go. After seeing that DOR corn, seeing a snake like this that we can actually hold and see, that's awesome. An Eastern rat snake right here. Gonna need to spend some time getting some pictures. It is great conditions out here though. I couldn't be more stoked, honestly. We've been out here for not even 30 minutes and we've seen all three of these snakes. We might have to leave soon, unfortunately, but I'm definitely gonna get some pictures of this guy. Alrighty guys, well, here's one last look at my life for Eastern rat snake. Um, We'll just let this guy go here. Absolutely awesome to see um, a snake like this. I'm actually so stoked right now. We were headed out. I convinced the, the guys that if we can spend more time out here, I'll buy them their dinners. So uh, hopefully we'll see a few more snakes. We'll let this guy get off the road. We'll see what else we come across. Alrighty guys, so the next Georgia Herp we have right here. I'm on the job, but I was walking past the stream and I saw it sitting over here. We got a, what I believe is a fairly large um, common slider right here. Um, you can kind of see how big he is. He was just sitting in the shade here. Um, and then I come over to just check it out. Unfortunately, it's all tucked away in its shell, which is all right. Um, but this is a lifer right here. Never seen a common slider. Well, I've seen them, but never got my hands on one before. Um, you can take a look at that yellow. Really cool. Feels pretty heavy, actually. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, leave it alone. Glad we could... Uh, get a turtle here in Georgia. We'll see what else we can find next. Alrighty guys, I'm walking along this canal right now to uh, get to the next neighborhood. And I was walking along it and in it, I saw this snapping turtle right here. And this guy's this guy definitely very feisty, a good looking snapper though. Um, I don't know if I pointed out earlier, but I also saw a soft shell, which was pretty cool. So there's so good canal. I obviously got to keep it quick. This is actually one of the smaller snapping turtles I've seen. I'm trying to trying to get a hand on him so you can just see how big he is. But definitely a feisty guy. Um, they'd obviously get a lot smaller, but I think this is actually the smallest one I've seen before. Um, but they can be, you know, like the size of a half dollar coin almost sometimes when they're first born. A little bit bigger, but uh, yeah, really cool. Gonna snap some pictures and then let this guy go. Alrighty guys, so I'm along this creek area near where I actually saw a snapping turtle a couple of days ago. Um, and I just got what I believe is a male cooter right here, um, which I think would be a lifer for me. 
Check out those nails, how long those are. That's crazy. Could definitely cut you open if, uh, if it was able to put enough power into it. Um, cool underside though, like a dark, dark deep red um, and that awesome yellow. I actually saw a massive soft shell turtle earlier that I was able to get a hand on, but I couldn't also take a video of it without escaping. I got a picture with my hand next to it. It was really, really big. And that was my uh, lifer Florida soft shell turtle. But now I got one of these. Bummer I couldn't get the soft shell on camera, but at least I got this guy. I'm gonna just uh, let him walk off there now. Alrighty guys, it's the next night and I had to get out again for amphibians because we got a whole bunch of rain today. I can just hear tons of frogs and toads calling. Um, I heard this guy calling in the grass right here. Uh, I believe that's a green tree frog. I might need to double check though. Um, but an absolute awesome looking frog. I'm gonna look up in a second. I'll tell you guys what, the east is just great as far as amphibians go. There's a toad right there. We got another one right here. All southern toads, I believe. We got another one just sitting right here. And I believe there was one more sitting right here. I guarantee you if I walk for another five seconds, you know, I'd just see another one, but you know, they're just everywhere. Guys, I've seen tons of dead ones. We got a live armadillo right there. I've seen lots of roadkill marks from them tearing up people's yards, but there was an actual armadillo right there, so that's pretty cool. Alrighty, southern toad right there. And I have to be honest, I'm not 100% sure what kind of frog this is, but it is a lifer. Um, I'm gonna look it up once I know once I get back home, just so I can figure out then. So I apologize for uh, not knowing the species. I don't know as many of the amphibians out here as I should, but uh, a lifer right here, that's for sure. Really cool looking guy. Might be a Cope's gray tree frog, but I can't promise anything. Alrighty, we got a leopard frog right here, which we'll just let it get away. There's a southern toad. There's a southern toad. Uh, I believe this is a squirrel tree frog calling over here. I think. Oh, there's another one hopping away right there. Man, this is crazy. Guys, check this out. This is in C2. I did not move any of these over here. One, two, three, four squirrel tree frogs just all sitting right there wait five they're just everywhere i hope i'm getting these ids right i might not be but absolutely crazy all righty i just found another one of those guys and i believe i was correct with the id er earlier when i said cope's gray tree frog so hopefully that's still correct but uh i don't know if you got a quick glimpse at a lot of that yellow on the legs which is really cool but uh we'll leave this guy alone Cool to see it, sticky fingers. There's a couple guys hopping along right there as well. Another uh, green tree frog, just chilling on my leg right here. These guys are awesome. Alrighty guys, so I was just walking around the neighborhood and on the side of the road, just found my lifer eastern glass lizard right here. I've only seen one of these ever and it was in South Carolina, but I didn't get a hold of it. Um, but I get to see one now. It's just sitting on the side of the road. Um, thankfully, hadn't been hit or anything. Um, but yeah, they definitely get bigger than this. Um, they're really cool to see. We'll see if we can get into focus. Come on now. There we go. Um, it seems like it's a lot harder to kind of film out east where it's all humid because my camera just fogs up a lot easier. Um, but here's a look at this eastern glass lizard. Awesome to get a lifer. Um, but I'm just going to set it in the shade. It's getting warm out here. And awesome to get a lifer. Alrighty, guys. I'm getting eaten up by bugs, but it's 8.30 in the evening. And I was sitting on that bench right over there. My friend just got here in the truck to come pick me up. I just finished work. And I was FaceTiming a friend when I almost stepped on this guy. As I was walking to the truck, tried to get into a bush, but I was able to grab it, thankfully. This is an eastern rat snake right here. Um, and I was able to uh, see one road cruising a few nights ago. But awesome to just finally hike my first uh, live snake while just going around through the neighborhoods. Um, 
awesome to just find one, you know, when you're not even trying. Sorry, one second. Just squirming around a whole bunch, but uh, yeah, awesome getting an Eastern rat snake. A little bit feisty right now, but I don't blame him. Just grabbed him off the ground. Um, but I'm just gonna set this guy back into the bushes here. So it can, uh, it's probably gonna be out for the next few hours. But awesome to seeing a snake. Alrighty guys, this will hopefully be the last clip of the video. We're still in the same neighborhood. We're driving out of here right now. Sorry, I had a deer fly on me. And I thought I saw a snake on the road, got out, and it's uh, this Eastern glass lizard right here, which is the second one I've ever seen. The other one wasn't in uh, very good condition, so it's cool to see this guy. He was absolutely just super squirmy. Um, but yeah, Eastern glass lizard right here. I apologize for the bad lighting. Um, but you know, I'll get this guy off the road into the forest here and he'll probably be the, the last terp of the day unless we get lucky finding someone else. There he goes. All right, you guys, I kid you not, we were trying to flip a Yui to go back the way we were going. I see this guy crossing the road. Another copperhead right here. Now I gotta try to hurry. Um, I'll try to kind of poke it off the road, you know, um, just because it is in a neighborhood road. Another copperhead, I gotta be quick, but this is a crazy quick stream of success right now.